Hi, my name is Elaine and I have a story to tell. This happened when I was in secondary school, about when I was 15. I was at a chalet with a group of friends and my elder brother was with me at the chalet and he's actually from SPI, which is Singapore Paranormal Investigation. It was the first night and we were having barbecue. So I was beside one of my friends. He was drinking and I was like grilling my food and stuff. Then halfway he started laughing. And we just thought he was drunk. And then he started laughing in a higher pitch. And I was like, what's happening? And my brother was inside with other friends. And I was just looking in for help. And then both of our eyes had made contact. And then it's like, oops, something is wrong. So my, my brother straight away walked out. And then my friend just started laughing uncontrollably. My brother started screaming at a friend. He's like, are you okay? Are you okay? And stuff. And then this friend starts suddenly spoke in a female voice and in, in Mandarin in something like Patechali which means like he is here and my brother was like screaming like get out of this body kind of stuff and then it attracted a lot of attention everyone was just crowding just right outside our chalet and then uh, there was this uncle he just stepped forward asked us if we need, needed help and then he was like I know something is wrong and then he showed us his tattoo and he said like he he had it blessed or something like that. I can, I can still remember it's a dragon thingy, it's super big and long. And then there was like two red dots on the dragon eye. So the two dots on the dragon is just like supposedly some kind of blood. I don't know from where, but apparently those are like to protect him from these spirits. So the moment when he was around and like he sensed something, the, the, the tattoo actually like howls or something to tell him like it's just trying to protect him. Which is why he stepped out and see what's happening around and then he saw us and he help us bring our friend back into our own chalet and ask the rest of the people to like disperse. So on the way back, walking into, the, into our chalet, my friend actually killed out a dead baby rat. <sighs> it was like very tiny. I can see the head, the tail and the small limbs. It's hairless. He vomited out that small rat and a lot of water. Yeah, and then we were like, freak. They were helping up the stairs and the uncle was getting all the other friends to help cover up all the mirrors in the chalet with a towel and blankets and stuff. So on the way up on the stairs, my friend vomited again but this time was ashes. So it's like water with ashes. So we were like, oh my god, I would have known if he ate something but like ashes and rats is like... If I didn't see it for myself, I wouldn't believe it also. So after we helped him out, my friend was just unconscious really. The next morning, my friend woke up and he was fine just that with bruises all over his body. He said his last memory was just like sitting there and staring into one of the uh, trees outside our chalet. And then there's nothing. And he, he said he was feeling weak all over. But thank God my friend is fine so... Just a story.